Good day everyone, this is just a backup video to video 49 where I walked you through the creation of a strength template and really what this video is about is showing you how to do some editing. Um, what I've done in the support file, if you've got it, is add some comments in. So if you hover over anything where there's a little red uh, mark in the top corner of a cell, then hover over and it'll give you some information about what it does and how it works. But the things that I wanted to have a look at was how to do some editing such as how to add another warm-up sequence to this list. So let's do that one first. Now at the top here I've created some hyperlink buttons um, to just take us to other parts of the system um, be it where the rep systems live or the categories live. Um, in this case we want to hit the warm-ups button. That takes us to the warm-ups table. And so I'm just going to make up excuse me I'm just going to make up a new warm-up sequence. I've simply added it to the bottom of the list and I called it warm-up 6 just to keep things in sequence. Now what I'm going to do is copy that, paste it down below, I'm just going to add obviously just some um, random text there to make the system work. I'm going to select the four cells and I'm going to call that warm up six. That's not everything that we have to do. What we need to do is change both the list that appears in the drop down box and also the table that the lookup is done upon. So I'm going to go up to the name manager and if you're watching any of my videos um, this is certainly something that is incredibly um, significant component in how I operate. So becoming friendly with the name manager is good. So we're going to look at a list called warmups. There it is there. At the moment it goes down to row 8. We want it to go to row 9. Hit the tick button. And next we want to go to one that says table warm-ups. Great. What I actually created on this one is a dynamic range that expands um, automatically once you add new rows to the bottom. So let's just check that by going to the front page and now there's one called summertime and that appears there. So that worked. Next thing I want to do is add a category. So I'm going to click on this button that says categories My link is going to the wrong place. These are our categories. Now I'm just going to select the cell here. I'm just going to shift these cells down a little bit. I'm just going to add a category called jumps and throws. into the name manager, list of categories, I need to expand that to go down to number 12. I can check it by clicking this little button here and it shows that it's being selected now. So what I have to do now is go across and find some space. I could do it under here but I think it's better to do that in a new place. Um, I'm just going to go across to the right. I'm 
let's say that that's um, my list. Add some points onto it. And now what we did for the other groups of exercises is we did two categories as well. We had a list and we had a table. Each of them used the same terminology. So we're going to go list, jumps and throws, and table jumps and throws. I'll just put some basic formatting around that. And let's go back and see what we can do. Jumps and throws is now on the bottom. And I can pick my exercises. So you can get the point here. It basically is adjusting the tables in the control panel and then making sure that you edit the named ranges. So um, to add exercises to an existing list is really just as simple as saying what is the name of the list? It's called list of lower body primary lifts. Find that list. And add a number to it. Also do the same for table lower body primary lifts. And that exercise, another bench press variation, is now part of that list. So once again you see the concept and you can make it work. Similarly if I wanted to edit the rep systems I would add another one there and then fill in the reps and then the loads that I wanted. On the 1RM page you might want to add more athletes down the bottom or you might want to add a new exercise across to the right. and so on, and really it's the same concept. Come up to the name manager, I think it's called Table Athlete 1RMs, I need to expand that across to I, and down to 17. And I can check that out to make sure I'm doing OK. So anyhow, hopefully that process is becoming a little bit more um, clear cut now. But it is very important that um, if you are going to try and use this as a basis for your own work, that you've got a feel for how to make some of those changes. So we've added um, exercises, categories, um, and lists and so on. One RM table has been updated, and really the process is, as I've detailed here on the About page, it's about being able to understand that with some adjustments to the name range, you can do new categories, add exercises, change rep schemes, add a few more athletes, training phases, etc, etc, etc. One of the real key things about any system that's got kind of some complicated stuff inside it, such as drop-down box lists and so on, is that if you do want to copy and paste stuff, that 
um, you do pay special values. So for example, if you decided that you wanted to have um, lower body and primary uh, primary lifts and lower body secondary lifts in the same table, really the important thing to do is up here, pay special values. And to do that takes away some of the risk around um, Excel being confused as to where the origin of some of these lists is. And in particular, if you're copying and pasting from one spreadsheet to another, almost always you should use paste special values. Um, anyhow, best thing you can do is get amongst this and start playing with it. But there hopefully is enough for you to go on and you can start doing some cool stuff.